Digitation is running very fast and the benefits and opportunities for citizens, for companies, for businesses are enormous. The EPP group's Andreas Schwab on what's a small but rapidly growing part of Europe's economy, the so-called sharing or collaborative economy. Digitally driven, it runs via the internet, connecting employers, workers and customers. Mr. Schwab is the EPP group's spokesman on the Internal Market and Consumer Protection Committee. We cannot stop that fastly growing uh, speed uh, movement that is a key driver for the economy already today but also in the future. But secondly, we have to take into consideration that a lot of citizens, workers, people, businesses use these uh, tools because they have a benefit with it. At this EPP group hearing, members of that collaborative economy join MEPs to discuss how to support that sector as part of Europe's digital single market and address the issues around it. We're essentially a long-distance carpooling platform allowing people like you and me who are driving to a specific place on a given date uh, to offer empty seats in their car to other people driving to the same place. So they're going to travel together and share the costs of the trip. A recent European Commission report says collaborative platforms online are offering new job opportunities with flexible work schedules. The report says the collaborative economy turned 28 billion euros in revenue last year, with some sectors doubling, and that revenue could rise to over a half trillion euros in the coming years. The benefits of collaborative economy is that it, uh, it creates new business models, which uh, enables to create new jobs. Also, it can create a new type of jobs, which are more suitable to the future labor market. But the report also notes concerns over the uncertainty about rights and obligations of those taking part in the collaborative economy. How are workers protected? How about their disability and retirement plans? It notes a risk of regulatory gray zones allowing online firms to get around the rules. Anna Maria Corazza Bilt of the EPP Group is Vice Chair of the Internal Market and Consumer Protection Committee. The Commission has mapped down the problems very well, taxes, labor market, liability, consumer protection. We now have to give the political uh, line on is there a need and what in terms of legal framework at European level to allow European companies to sell the goods and services through the shared economy. The Commission report says absolute bans against online companies perceived as unfair competition, as with the Uber car service, should be a measure of last resort. Mr. Schwab agrees that such action should be avoided and that EU-wide laws can help ensure a level playing field. I think a ban is not so much of an option. But it's obvious that these services have to abide by the law. These apps and services can only operate cross-border. That's the very nature of the digital single market. And if you take that seriously, there is only one option, that you have laws that apply for the whole digital single market. A Eurobarometer survey indicates strong consumer interest in the collaborative economy. That's why it's growing by leaps and bounds. Now to make sure that energy benefits even more Europeans as consumers and income earners alike. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.